the rules of daily life. Begin the day with God. Kneel down to him in prayer. Lift up thy heart to his abode and seek his love to share. Open the book of God and read a portion there that it may hollow all thy thoughts and sweeten all thy care. Go through the day with God, whatever thy work may be, wherever thou art, at home, abroad, he still be near to thee. Converse in mind with God, the spirit heavenwardly, heavenward, heavenward wise, acknowledge every good bestowed, and offer grateful praise. Conclude the day with God, the sins to him confess. Trust in the Lord's atonement's blood and plead his righteousness. Lay down at night with God, who gives his servants sleep. And when thou threadest the veil of death, he will, he will thee guide and keep. Hey everybody, it's Marsha from Kansas Misfit, and today we're going to do number five, continuing in the book on the ten, uh, I'm on number five of the ten disciplines for developing a passion for God's word. Number five, are we in the workbook? Yeah, we're in the study guide workbook. And then if we need to go, we will go to the the regular book in a moment. But let's read what the question says for number five. It says, be a woman of one book. The book. The Bible. Now take a minute to think about, take a minute to think through the reading habits. What do you tend to read most the Bible about how many minutes a day do you, do you read that just depends I just read one chapter and if it takes 10 minutes if it takes 30 minutes if it takes 5 minutes that's maybe I don't know if that's right or wrong but that's what I do and I'm answering these truthful for you guys as you weigh this amount of time against the number of minutes you spend each day reading your Bible, how do you things stack up? You know, if I don't read the Bible, I know things, my attitude's not proper. Um, I get edgy real easy. I can't do things I want to do. Things get messed up. But when I read the Bible, things seems to be smoother and I'm able to do more. That's just, that's how I'm answering that question. Let's see. Or does your reading indi indicate that you are a woman of the book? The book. Are there any changes you need to make? I'm sure there is. Because if so, what? Well, I need to pray more, for one thing. I need to read. I need to actually just keep trying and never give up. It says, revisit the rules of daily life at the end of chapter 2, and then open the book of God and read the portions there. That it may hollow all your thoughts and sweeten all thy care. So let me read number five in the book and we'll see what happens. Be a woman of the book. The Holy Bible. This is my book. Be the woman, woman of the book. There are many books you and I can read. There are many books you and I can spend time reading. Some are bad, some are good, and some are better. I'm going to 
just say something before I finish reading it. I wanted to say the most um, popular book out there in the world to read is the Bible. The most published book out there to read is the Bible. The most unread book to read is the Bible. Why is that? Can someone comment that? I don't know. Because it's the devil taking us away and trying to keep us from going the right way and keep us away from the Lord. That's my intuition. But let's see what the rest of this says. But our reading call, calls for discipline. It all, it, at least two disciplines will put you on the right path as you f fuel your passion for God. First, make it f make a rule to read what honors God's standards and glories, glorifies Him. Second, if you only ha have time to read one book, make sure that book is in the Bible. The Bible. I have friends who even make it a discipline to read the Bible before they read anything else each day. No newspapers, no devotional reading, no instructional books, no fiction about their Bible was read. And it said John Wesley, and it was John Wesley, the brilliant founder of Methodism um, and, and one who is a heralder, heralded as a shining, shining example of consecrated in, intellect. That he was a man of one book. Dear one, read your Bible. Become addicted to your Bible. Love your Bible. Indeed, cherish it. I was so touched when reading of the death of the theologian Francis Schaeffer. To learn that he lay... On his deathbed, holding his Bible to his chest with one hand and stroking it with the other. Too weak to hold his Bible open for reading, Dr. Schaefer clutched and caressed it. You see, he is a man of one book. The book. That's number five on here. It says in the... Um, study guide after it says to uh, after rules of daily life re read chapter 2 I just read rules of daily life where is that revisit the rules of daily life and read the end of chapter 2 is that in here Rules of daily life. This is uncut, guys. This is my actual studying, and I'm doing it with you, not for you, but with you. And this is important. And I don't see. Is this chapter two? Chapter 2. Okay. Looking at... Did it say looking at, at life? I think it did. It says, Rules for daily life. Begin the day with God. Kneel down to Him in prayer. Lift up your heart to his abode and seek his love to share. Open the book of God and read a portion there it, that it may hollow all your thy thoughts and sweeten all thy care. Go through the day with God, whatever their work may be. Whether they are at home or abroad, he still is near to thee. 
Conversed in mind with God, thy spirit hearkened, raised. Acknowledge good, every good bestowed, and offer grateful praise. Conclude the day with God, the sins of him confessed. Trust in the Lord's atoning blood, and plead his righteousness. Lie down at night with God, who gives his servants sleep, and when the, and when thou treadest the veil of death, he will thee, he will thee guard and keep. I like that. So, next Friday, I will be reading number six. So I look forward to where's my bookmark. I look forward to um, seeing you next Friday. And I hope, like everything, that I touch someone's life and brought you closer to God. And hopefully, you can share share your prayer requests with me, so I can have something to feel like I'm doing good for you. If you need prayer or just want me to just think of you, I need, I need to know so I can add you to my prayers because the more I can pray, the better I feel. And that's what I want to do. Anyway, I will let you guys go. I'll see you next week. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>